All right, this is a quick part two to the magic items module that I showed before. Previously, we were looking at Marin, who is ironically injured again in this one, and also with her limited vision at night being a human, can't see the big baddie showing up right beside her. Thankfully though, her ally Theo here can see that with her dark vision. We're gonna be looking at Theo and Marin in their magic items. So previously um, on the past video, we were looking at the ring of spell storing and how that is set up. So I'm going to quickly open that one up and edit it. And we've got that there. Uh, Theo has a magic item that we're going to pull up here called the staff of defense. Um, the staff of defense. Now you'll see here, there's a lot more to this one. Now, part of the reason for that is that the ring of spell storing is just a uh, trinket, whereas the Staff of Defense is a melee weapon. So there's additional uh, information required in here. For example, that it takes an action to use, um, you know, how much damage does it do? So all of that's not required here. If we were to change this to uh, a, what am I looking for here? Simple melee, interesting, I don't even see it on here. Well, somehow, if we were to change it to other things, you get additional, uh, basically information here. Either way, one of the things that I noticed with the Staff of Defense versus the Ring of Spell Storing was that on Marin, if I go to Magic Items, I don't see anything. But if I go to Theo and go to Magic Items, I see the Staff of Defense and the spells that are associated with that item. We can, I can show you how that is set up and we can adjust the spell, Ring of Spell Storing for my previous video to make sure that it shows up for Marin in the um, the hotbar thingy there. What is that thing called? That thing is called, uh, is it a token? It is called, nope, it's none of those things. I think like it was called hotbar. Mm, nope, I don't remember what that thing is called. Uh, this awesome little thing here has a drop down of all of your stuff for the, each character that you click on. Um, I'll have to go through that another time. Anyways, for the magic item. So for the Staff of Defense here, one of the things that's different from the Ring of Spell Storing is that this recharges on a daily basis. If you were to look it up in the book or on D&D Beyond, you would see that it recharges 1d4 plus 2 per day. So all you have to do is hit Rechargeable and hit this 1d4 plus 2 formula and specify how often does it do that recharge. You have options of at dawn, sunset, after short rest, long rest, and daily. The great thing about Foundry is that when you do, for example, a long rest, it will check this. So if uh, on Theo's sheet here, you were to come in and say, do a long rest, it will ask you, first of all, yep, yeah, you can do your long rest. And if this was after long rest, that would be great. It would this would this formula would immediately roll and recharge this item, but because it says daily, you have to use this function here in the long rest of Foundry. It'll ask, "Is this a new day?" If you check yes, this will automatically trigger and it will roll that. And you'll actually see it in the um, uh, the chat log. It'll tell you what it rolls and it will automatically update this um, how many uses are left in this staff. So there's the recharge part. Now, how do you get it up into this part up here? Well, it turns out it has to do with this activation cost. Um, this module, my God, I can't even remember what this module is called at the moment. This module requires, it's, it seems, that there is an action uh, cost to it. So if I go to the details, we can see right now there's no activation cost. If I move this ring to an uh, action. Now, if we go to Marin, we can see that Ring of Spell Storing is there, Shield, Healing Spirit, Shadow Blade are there, which are the magical items attached to it. Again, if I change this detail to nothing, suddenly they disappear for Marin. I think I can even just put it as special and they show up. So this bar is clearly only populating with things that are uh, actionable items in some way. Um, so that's how you can get it to show up in this bar. 
as opposed to Marin having to go into her sheet, into her spell book. Now, if she just wants to cast it, she can cast it straight from here. Now, the other thing is, if we activate Argon Combat HUD, um, you will see that you know, that they do show up in the correct place. So Ring of Spell Storing, she has Shield, which is a reaction, and Healing Spirit and Shadow Blade, which are both bonus actions. So when we're on Marin here, we can go to cast a spell as a reaction, and Shield shows up there. We can also go to cast a spell as a bonus action, Shadow Blade and Healing Spirit show up there. Now, one of the interesting things is casting it did it use up a spell slot? It did not. That's good. Um, it didn't use up a spell slot for that. As opposed to if you cast it with a real spell. Well, let me put down that shadow, that, the healing spirit real quick. Um, casting command here will ask if it's going to consume a spell slot because it's actually coming from her spell slots as opposed to the item itself, the magic item. When we use it from the magic item, as I demonstrated in the previous one, what it actually does is it changes the available number here in the ring of spell storing. And the same is true of Theo's Staff of Defense. If we cast Mage Armor, it uses up one charge of it. If we cast Shield, it uses up another two. And you'll see that on Theo here. I think that's it. Hope that's helpful for uh, how to configure more information with the Magic Items module for Foundry VTT.